Almost rolled down the hill. If you're shopping for a mid-size off-road truck, your decision is getting more and more difficult. But let me make it easy for you. Behind me I have a 2019 Toyota Tacoma TRD Pro and a 2019 Chevy Colorado ZR2 Bison, the best-selling mid-size truck and the second best-selling mid-size truck. And in this video, I'm here in Texas at an off-road park and I'm gonna put these two trucks to the test to help you decide which one is best. There'll be mud, there'll be articulation, there'll be hill climbs. You gotta check this out. Let's see how the Bison handles this trail right now I'm in Justin Forlow I haven't locked up my differentials yet I have an option to do it behind this grill is a 2.8 liter Duramax diesel with 186 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque it's made it to a six-speed automatic transmission but you do have choice as far as ZR2s and Bisons are concerned, you can also get a 3.6 liter V6 with an 8-speed automatic. The choice is yours, but it's all automatic transmission. There's no manual in the ZR2 or the Bison. The DSSV shocks still here. The Bison package gives you all the skid plates and protection. But the first obstacle is actually dropping down into this little uh, pond area and then doing a side tilt on the way up. The Bison starts out as a ZR2. ZR2 is already a very capable truck. So what the Bison is trying to do for just over $5,000 for the package, it offers you the off-road protection. So the first obstacle was no sweat, 19 degree side tilt. It was kind of child's play. Here's the diesel. But here's a trick the Bison has that the Tacoma does not. Front and rear selectable lockers. Of course, hill descent and exhaust brake in this case are also available. One thing I don't like on the Colorado is actually the four-wheel drive selector switch. It's kind of hidden behind the steering wheel here. If you don't know where it's at, it's gonna take you a little while to find it. Now behind this grill is only one engine option, 3.5 liter dual injection V6 with 276 horsepower and 265 pound-feet of torque. In this truck right here, it's made it to a six-speed automatic, but you could also get a six-speed manual transmission. So you do have a little bit of choice, just not a diesel engine. You do have a manual if you so choose. Here's the first test, it's a sideways hill. I'm gonna try to negotiate. It's basically 19 degrees sideways. So far, good. Low range is working well. Underneath me are um, Fox shocks. Toyota has switched on their TRD Pro line. Basically, uh, exclusively to Fox, and it's a good thing. It's a good shock, good ride. The ZR2 comes not just with these special American Expedition Vehicles AEV wheels, but also the Goodyear Wrangler Duratrack tire. This is more of a mud terrain, dirt tire. It's a little bit a little bit more noisy on the road and less efficient, but out here in the dirt and mud, it's a good tire to have. Now it's time for the mud hole. And this is really a test of ground clearance and also a test of tires and traction. I'm gonna engage my rear locker. Oh, you know, no, we should. And this truck is um, listed at 
8.9 inches of ground clearance. But let me show you all the skid plates on this truck because this is the key behind this truck. You get five boron steel skid plates, which are incredibly tough. Let's take a look at tires. These are Goodyear Wrangler with Kevlar sidewall. They're pretty strong tires, but you could see mud can get stuck in this. This is more of a all around, all season tire. Right, so now I'm entering the mud pit and it's been raining a little bit today and it's just getting soupier and goopier and tougher. I'm gonna try to get it the same speed. Okay, I didn't feel much slippage there. And my tires are getting completely caked in mud. This is articulation section. The Tacoma actually offers really good approach. Um, decent departure angle. There you go, I'm going a little bit sideways now. Now let's look at the undercarriage. Let me show you the skid plates. Tacoma has a couple of skid plates, especially in the front, that's really good. But it's um, not as many as the Bison, of course. The Bison offers these tube steel bumpers, beefy. Over there, you can mount a winch. Over here, you're getting new round fog lights. You're also getting the new Chevrolet grill here. You still get your side rails like every ZR2. Here's another part of the Bison package are these wider fender flares. And by the way, the ZR2 Bison also comes as a extended cab long bed. So you have a couple of choices. Once again, special Bison bumpers in the back. And I was a little worried about the uh, diesel exhaust pipe, which hangs down, but it's still in good shape. It hasn't been squished or torn off. Okay, now onto the test of departure and approach angles. The Bison, or the ZR2, especially the Bison with its lower tube front bumper, actually has a slightly worse approach angle than the regular ZR2 and that's already less than the TRD Pro. The Tacoma with its 35 degrees of approach is just really class leading before the Gladiator Jeep came along. I'm a little worried about my approach angle but I'm gonna negotiate this up and down hill. So right now you can see down and it's been raining so the ruts are deeper and now it's really slick. So I'm really hoping that the two lockers, front and rear, in combination with the tires, the Duratrax, which are pretty good, that all of that together will help me. I will try to go a little slowly here at first, and then momentum. I didn't touch. Huh. It was a little tough, but I did it. There's not a lot of modulation here in the ZR2. I just wish I have more control in uh, low range. Here's a TRD Pro package for the Tacoma. And of course this Voodoo Blue color, which is one of my favorites. This truck has optional decal package on the hood and also optional desert air intake up top right here. But of course the biggest part of this package are actually the shocks. Let me show you. Hiding under all this mud are the TRD Pro Fox shocks. And this is a good setup. I think Toyota and Fox really did a good job with this for a compliant ride. Hiding under the ZR2 are the DSSV Multimatic spool valve shocks. They don't use the shims and washers, but instead a special spool valve for tuning its compression and rebound. And these are tuned a little bit more stiffer, but I kind of like the control they offer off-road and on-road. While well, Chevrolet teamed up with AEV, an aftermarket company, for off-roading, Toyota teamed up with Rigid Industries for their fog lights. Okay, approaching this hill climb. All right, I need to use everything. I'm using a rear locker. I don't have a driver selectable front locker here. I'm using four low. I'm not using crawl control. Okay, Toyota, let's go. Okay, just trying to figure this out. I didn't have enough momentum. 
All right, I'm gonna disable the crawl control system and I'm gonna use the old-fashioned right foot. Okay, let me try. Ooh, I'm going sideways. Okay, I saved it. -hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> I kind of saved it. Ooh, that was a tough one. Even though Tacoma has all the gear for stuff like this, having a grippier, beefier mud terrain tire helps. As far as value is concerned, well, the TRD Pro is cheaper. It's just under 50,000 bucks. You can option it to about 50. The diesel powered Zero 2 Bison is actually over 50 grand, so it costs more. But today, it was the better truck. And I think it has to do with factory provided tires. Those dirt tracks were better on the muddy hill climb. What can I say? In the front and rear selectable lockers helped a lot as well. Go back to tfltruck.com for my news views and real world truck reviews. I hope this makes it easier for you to choose.